Welcome once again to the Thrifty Collector. It's been a while. Glad to be back. Been going through a lot of stuff, uh, but got some interesting returns. Two Hall of Fame rookie cards and a rookie card that is I'm um, getting ready to send out to a private signing and also some wrestling cards. The first card, as you can tell, is a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. Uh, Ryan Sandberg is a Hall of Famer is also a former former MVP. He was originally uh, drafted by the Phillies and played his first year in 1981 for the Phillies. Not, I, I think, maybe a couple handful of games, but not much of that. This guy is pretty much automatic through the mail. Uh, you send him the $20 bill, you get your card back signed. Has a very interesting autograph, uh, a lot of circles and swivels. Uh, but remains kind of consistent. If you see towards the end of his autograph, that little dip, I haven't seen that really much before. And I've gotten a few of these Sandberg cards back, and uh, this is probably the best-looking autograph out of all of them that I've ever gotten. So, uh, Hall of Fame rookie card, 20 bucks to get it signed. Uh, next one is Mr. Louis Dampia. Louie played high school basketball in Kentucky. He played college basketball in Kentucky, and he played pro basketball in Kentucky. This is the Kentucky Colonels. Uh, it was an American Basketball Association team, the ABA. Uh, Louie was about six foot. He was a, a guard. He was uh, well known for uh, free throws and also assists, but a uh, nice Hall of Famer. If you send to him, it doesn't matter if you send him money or whatever, he's going to personalize your card. Uh, so it's one thing that you kind of have to get through. I have actually have another one of these I probably will send out in a few months to get signed. It's just great getting back. I love these old ABA cards uh, with these old ABA players. If you've ever watched the, um, the Will Ferrell movie, uh, Semi-Pro, it kind of shows you it, it, a lot of what the ABA was about. Uh, I go over, of course, the Florida Floridians, and they had girls in go-go boots and bikinis uh, were the ball girls. So the ABA did whatever it could to get people into the stands. I love it. Uh, but, yeah, so this is uh, Louis Dampier, and uh, great card to have signed, but he will personalize them no matter what. Next card, I'm getting ready to send this out, Alex English. Uh, if you don't know much about Alex English, he was one of those guys that was about 20 points per game every night. Uh, if he had played in one of the big market teams, you would know for sure who he is. He did play for the Pacers and ended up with the Nuggets and those late 80s, early 90s Nuggets teams. They would score 135 points and sometimes still lose a game. The games, uh, the points, I remember seeing like 142 to 139. Uh, it was just, there was no defense played in those uh, Nuggets teams until, of course, Dikembe Mutombo came around. But, uh, you know, wow, imagine being able to go to a game and watching a team score 140 points. Uh, but Alex English was a great player. I believe it's $20 to get this signed. If if he had played in a big market team, his signature and his cards would hold a whole lot more value. You can buy these rookie cards probably $5, 10 on eBay all day long. So uh, pick them up. Uh, there is a private signing coming up soon. So uh, check him out. Now the next one I've got is, uh, is a wrestling card, and I'm just getting ready to send these out. The uh, Autograph Inks is having a signing with this guy and um he's actually battling cancer so all the all the proceeds are going to go to him it's 10 bucks a card but it's uh nwa national champion black bart this is a very interesting card this is um this is a 1986 monty card they were from like denmark or finland it was some some place in europe uh I bought the entire set for about $20, and you can't even touch that now. Tons of rookie cards in it. Um, there's there's so many rookie cards. Uh, Jim Cornette, who they actually spelt his name wrong. They spelled it J-I-N. And uh, all it is is a picture of Bobby Eaton, and it has Cornette's rack, tennis racket in the, in the view of the picture. Uh, they had uh, and all kinds of mistakes because, of course... 
who probably put this set together, didn't know much about wrestling, but they spelt Ric Flair's name a couple of times wrong. Uh, they had, uh, there's a card, it's titled something like uh, Hulk Hogan and Muhammad Ali, and it's actually Hulk Hogan with Sylvester Stallone. Uh, and you also have uh, Cindy Lauper was in one of the pictures with Hogan. Uh, but it's also Rick Rude's rookie card, Art Anderson's rookie card, Black Bart's rookie card, uh, the Jim Cornette, like I said. Uh, it, there's just so many of them. And they are, interesting thing, they are blank packs. So um, there, there was nothing on the back of these. I believe you actually had to cut these out also. So they're very interesting cards. It's It goes back to the wonderful world of wrestling cards. When you think that you found somebody's first card, you think you found a unique set, you go back and you end up finding one that's a year earlier and a little bit more unique. So uh, this is also his 88 Wanda Ramos card. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to send him four. Uh, what I do kind of like is he's got his little branding iron there, BB for Black Bart. But if you got if you got a card of his and 10 bucks, it's on Sports Collectors Net and also Autograph Inc., Facebook page, and that's I-N-K. You can check it out there and get your Black Bart. And then there's another one of my uh, 88 Wonderamas, which are which to me is still one of the best wrestling sets ever made. Probably close right behind the um, wrestling all-star sets that they put out, uh, the, the four different sets of those. So check them out. Well, I hope you enjoyed the cards. Uh, sorry it's been a while that I've been out and about. Uh, got some new exciting things coming up. Going to try and get some new videos out and really start pumping everything up. So everybody have a great day. Thanks for checking out the page. Uh, get your Ryan Sandbergs out. Check out Alex English. And, of course, uh, Louis Dampier, great signer. And uh, help old Black Bart out with his uh, cancer treatment. Thank you. Have a great day. And, as always, stay thrifty.